So this is the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Now I decided on this one um, after my poor old Nexus 7 finally died, finally quit charging on me. So I'm like, well, I guess it's time to finally replace it. So, But uh, I was looking at this one because it runs a full version of Windows and it runs an Intel Atom t uh, Z 3740D. Now, uh, it's uh, clocked at 1.3 gigahertz with a turbo frequency of 1.8. I don't see it hitting 1.8 very often. It usually sits around um, 800 megahertz to, to 1 gigahertz for most applications, which is pretty normal for these things. Um, it gets a pretty good battery life. Um, I, I haven't fully discharged it yet, but uh, it seems to do pretty good for, for the most part. Now, um, I do run a, a few of the older games on there. As you can see, I've got... Uh, uh, some of the, the old marathon games running on ALF 1, I've got Half-Life 2 and Unreal Tournament at the time of this recording. Uh, of course, Chrome some uh, and some other basic applications that I use all the time. Um, I like it because it runs, it has the full uh, capabilities of running any of the uh, x86 applications. So I'm not as limited as I would be with Windows RT, so I don't, uh, I don't have to worry too much about what I throw on there. At least... Uh, at least for um, being able to run it. Now, uh, Space, on the other hand, is a different story. It's only got 32 gigabytes of storage. Um, I do have a small micro SD card in there right now, about 16 gigs, and that's where I have Unreal Tournament and Half-Life installed right now. But uh, it's filling up pretty quick, so I'm going to get a 64 gig here pretty soon. Now, on the left... Uh, for a size comparison, that is a Nexus 7, the 2012 version. Um, I've had that tablet now for a couple of years. I really like the size. I've taken it just about everywhere. i um, done a lot of recording and, and whatnot on it. Um, now, the Venue 8 is actually an 8-inch, so it's a little extra bit of size, but uh, it seems to be, in my opinion, actually probably a little easier to handle than the 7 sometimes, uh, just because it's a little thinner. And... Um, it's they weigh about the same. I mean, it's hard to tell just you know a few grams off or whatnot, but uh, they seem to weigh about the same. But it seems like it's a little easier to grip, uh, at least with my large hands. Now, of course, on the right is just uh, for size comparison. That is a Microsoft Sculpt Touch mouse. Uh, it is Bluetooth. It's about the size of a standard wireless mouse that you get nowadays. But uh, you can see it's not all that big, but it is a very comfortable size to hold and to uh, pack around with you. Now, I do like Android for tablets and phones and whatnot, but what I found myself mostly using this tablet for, uh, this is my Nexus 7, was basically just, I hate to say it, mostly just a music player while I was under the hood of my vehicle. It had a pretty loud speaker. I could stream my music off of the Google Play services while I was out there in front of the house. And uh, to be honest with you, that's about all I used it for. So it kind of, uh, you know, it, I know there's more options it can do, but uh, for the most part, it's just a music player. So this system is running Intel Atom Z3740D at 1.33 gigahertz. Um, now it does turbo up to about 1.8 gigahertz, but I rarely see that. It usually runs uh, at 1.3 gigahertz. Now that is an actual quad core. Uh, four cores, four threads. It is not hyper-threaded. So they're individual uh, processing units. Now, it does have two gigabytes of RAM, and since it is a uh, running Intel graphics, it does share the system memory with the video card, so you get a little less usable, so about 1.8, 1.9 gigabytes. Um, I believe it's set to 128 megs um, by default. Now, this is running a 32-bit operating system on a 64-bit processor, but since it only has two gigabytes of RAM, that really isn't a problem. Um, it also has an internal 32 gigabyte uh, flash storage, and I do have a 16 gig, mi gig micro SD card installed in it as well. Now you can see the back sides uh, got kind of a circular pattern. Now a lot of, I've seen a lot of Dells with this on there, uh, this particular circular pattern. Um, it is kind of rubbery, so it's got pretty good grip. It does have a tendency to hold the grease and the scratches pretty well on the back, but if you're like me and don't really care about what it looks like on the outside, then I guess it'll work. Now it does have a rear-facing 5 megapixel camera. Um, from the images I've seen, I am not too impressed with it. It's really grainy in the in the low light. On the uh, in the outside and in the highlight, it works pretty good. 
I mean, it'll produce okay images, but it's no substitute for a good camera. And here's an example of some of the lower light uh, noise I was talking about. Uh, this is zoomed all the way in, so you can actually see how grainy it is. Um, it is, it's, it's really, like I said, not much of a substitution for a good camera. It's a lot of noise. Um, the colors are pretty saturated, uh, at least at night, uh, but the daytime pictures seem okay, at least uh, from what I've seen. And here is an example of some of the uh, full light, but indoors kind of, kind of pictures you might be able to take with it. This is uh, actually the table that sits across from my desk here. You can see this is all the way zoomed in. There's still a little bit of grain in the uh, image, and it is it is kind of lower lower resolution, but uh, after coming from a DSLR, it, uh, it's kind of hard to go back. I'll go ahead and zoom out so you can see a little better. Now, when I typically run it, I will uh, usually use a keyboard, a stand, and a mouse. Uh, just because, for me, I'm, I'm not much of a hands-on for a touchscreen. I mean, I, I do enjoy using a, a touchscreen and the touch interface, but for the most part, I just wanted a really small, portable PC. And that's why I decided on this particular form factor with this uh, particular processor. Now here I'm using a Microsoft Wedge keyboard and a Microsoft Sculpt mouse. Um, they're both Bluetooth. They they do pretty good. I haven't uh, I don't really have any complaints too much other than uh, you know sometimes the keyboard is a little small to uh, work with with my big hands, but uh, I mean it is uh, it's no substitute for a full keyboard. But it, uh, in a pinch it works pretty good. Now one of the big uh, selling points for me was the ability to run full uh, Windows applications and uh, this one actually came with um, a copy of Office 2013 Student Home which is, uh, you know, it, it works. It's it's good enough for me for what I need to do it with, uh, especially for the paperwork at work. So we have Excel here and we have Word here. Now it, uh, at first the size was a little small. I was missing the larger 15 inch screen that I'm used to using with the uh, the laptop, but uh, this particular location that I'm working at, it's kind of hard for me to run a full laptop here, so um, having this small form factor tablet really comes in handy when, uh, when I have to work here. So after running the Dell Venue 8 Pro now for a few days, I've actually come to greatly appreciate its smaller size. The text can be a little hard to read, but overall I'm actually quite happy with the, the uh, unit. Now um, that's it for my review on this uh, little system here. If you like the video, go ahead and click like. And if you want to subscribe and see more of the crazy stuff I may or may not do, go ahead and hit subscribe. As always, have a good day.